Hey, it's Aaron here again and in this video today I want to show you all about our famous one-click rewrite option. So we're going to go over all of the settings and you're gonna feel right at home once we're done with this video. So we are here in your control panel and let's go into the rewrite a single article option right here. So you're probably somewhat familiar with this at this point. Let's just enter an article. We're gonna go with this one about some Italian and German cars because it's it's the one I had handy and Okay, let's click the rewrite article option so we can proceed from step one to step two Because when we're doing manual rewrites most of the magic happens in step two So spin rewriter has now Analyzed the meaning of our article and prepared the synonyms for us so we are now in step two and Not sure if you know this, but if you wanted to go right back to step one you can just click this link right here and it it will ask you like do you really want to leave step two and we're going to say no because I want to show you something here so now we have this article in step two and as you probably know you can click on individual words and you will get a list of synonyms and then you can select a synonym and add like uniqueness to your article this way but today we're going to use the one click rewrite option so we go to the end of the article and we can see that right now we can only create two possible versions of our article. So one possible version is that we use the word respectively here and then another possible version is that we use the word specifically here. But that's not a lot of uniqueness, is it? It's only 3% unique, which is definitely not good enough for the world of SEO today. So that's why we're going to use the one-click rewrite option. So let's go into the settings and we can see what we can do. So, talking about spinning words and phrases, we can tell Spin Rewriter what we want it to do. Do we want Spin Rewriter to make our unique articles more readable or more unique? So should it focus on articles being high quality, human quality, very readable, or should it be using as many synonyms it possibly can, even if those synonyms might not be the best, because this gives us the option to create just thousands upon thousands of unique articles. So it depends on what you need for your particular business. So we have a slider here and we can tell Spin Rewriter to make our articles as unique as possible. So it's going to use as many synonyms as possible. Or we can use the recommended option, which has been finely tuned over the years. So I would suggest to almost always stay with the recommended option where Spin Rewriter will use synonyms that are reliably correct and still provide enough uniqueness. Or we can go with this option where Spin Rewriter will only use synonyms that are definitely correct and the articles will be as readable as possible but maybe not quite as unique. So let's go with the recommended option here. Now in our article we are mentioning like Porsche, Carrera, 4S and stuff like that. And if we don't want Spin Rewriter to change any of those words, then we could explicitly tell it, like, every time you encountered, encounter the word Ferrari or Porsche, just do not suggest any synonyms for those two words, because we want our article to keep talking about Ferrari and Porsche. This is not a particularly great example of protected keywords, because Spin Rewriter is intelligent enough to know that it shouldn't change the main point of the article. But if there are some words that you definitely don't want Spin Rewriter to change, you just put them in here. And you can also decide to automatically protect all capitalized words. So all brand names or names of people, if you select this option, none of this will get changed and your article will remain the same meaning as it had before. And it will also talk about the same brands and the same people and stuff like that. So if we look at advanced settings here, we can enable hyperspeed, which is basically a way of telling your computer to run the one-click rewrite option much, much, much faster than it normally would. But you do need a somewhat powerful computer to use this option. It's on by default because most people have a computer that's powerful enough. But if you run into any problems, you can always come here to the advanced settings and disable hyperspeed. But for most people, you will be great using the hyperspeed enabled, which is the default option. Then we've also got the one level multi-level nested spinning. So let me show you this on, a, on an example. Like uh, maybe Spin Rewriter would suggest, would get the word German and would suggest a synonym uh, like Bavarish, which is a region of Germany. 
And then if you had this multi-level nested spinning enabled, it would also try to find synonyms for the suggested synonym Bavarish to make it even more unique. Now this once again wasn't the best possible example I could have come up with, but this is how it works. So usually one level spinning is more than enough because we're going to get the option of generating thousands of unique articles either way. And then here we also get a tip about using keyboard shortcuts when we're doing manual spinning. But today we're going to use the one click rewrite. So we're telling Spin Rewriter to use synonyms that are reliably correct. This is the recommended setting. And we don't want Spin Rewriter to touch Ferrari or Porsche words whenever it encounters them. And we also want Spin Rewriter to just leave all capitalized words alone. But other than that, it's going to suggest synonyms for all of the other words in our article automatically. So I'm pretty excited about this. Let's click the one click rewrite option and see what happens. One click rewrite is now in progress and it's activating the recommended synonyms. And as you can see in the background, it's just doing work that would take a human hours and hours. And it's already done in just like, I think it was 11 seconds. And we have our article here and it's just got an insane number of synonym suggestions suggested. So as you can see, we're talking about urban streets or metropolitan roads or city streets and the two brands or both brand names have constantly been put, have actually continuously been placed head to head or neck to neck. That's pretty amazing because like doing this by hand would take you literally hours and as you can see Spinner Rider has done this in 11 seconds. So even though we created Spin Rewriter, every time I use it, every time I use the one click rewrite option in particular, I'm just blown away personally, because every time it surprises me at, at how well it works. And I know it's amazing, but still, I can't believe it. So once we get here, you can simply decide to finalize your article, which gets us here to step three, we see the success message and we are ready to start generating unique versions of our article now that we've used the one click rewrite option. So we can generate a unique article as easily as this. And then Spin Rewriter has automatically detected that our article is about cars, Ferraris, Porsches. So we can add images of cars with a single click right here, or we can go into this menu and you can see suggested Porsche, Ferrari, cars. And if we click Ferrari, we're going to get some relevant images right off the bat. Let's say we want to add maybe out of those four images, two of those into each article. Let's go use images. And now we can compare our new article side by side with the original article. And you can see just how incredible this is. Like our articles is completely unique. And if we create another one, the images change, their positions change, and we just have an amazing article that reads well and is just 98% unique, which is crazy. So yeah, this blows me away every time and I hope it, it blew you away as well. And I hope you like this demo video, this tutorial video. We do want you to be successful, so this is why I'm recording these. And yeah, thank you for being one of our amazing customers. Have a great day.